Our next story comes from Bangladesh. It was once a home for Asian elephants, but today the animals are critically endangered. There are only about 200 elephants left in Bangladesh. Half of them live in captivity. So Dhaka has finally addressed the elephant in the room. It has passed a landmark ruling banning the adoption of wild elephants and protecting them from exploitation. But why did the elephant numbers decline in Bangladesh in the first place? Why is the government acting now? And can the court order help boost the elephant population of the country? Our next report tells you. It all began last year. In the month of May, two elephants were walking in Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh. They were being guided by Mahouts and being used for begging on the streets. The scene was nothing out of the ordinary. That is, until the Mahouts began guiding the elephants along train tracks at a railway station. But shortly after, a train hit one of the elephants, leaving the animal dead on the spot. The Mahouts fled the scene immediately and took the other elephant with them. This incident shocked Bangladesh. There were protests, animal activists spoke up, so did college students. People came together and united in demanding justice for the dead elephant. This tragic incident also shed light on a crisis looming in Bangladesh. The South Asian country was once home to one of the biggest populations of Asian elephants. But habitat loss and poaching have caused a marked decrease in numbers. Over time, the elephants became critically endangered. By 2017, about 270 elephants remained. And now, there are only 200 Asian elephants in Bangladesh. About half of them live in captivity. Almost all of them are used for begging and performances in circuses or street shows. This is a common practice in Bangladesh, all thanks to a policy. The Dhaka government allowed young elephants to be taken into captivity as long as the forestry department issued licenses to logging groups. They would use the elephants to haul logs, but this route is rarely followed. Despite logging licenses, the terms of the contract are broken and most elephants end up with circus groups. Young calves are separated from their mothers. They are shackled for months, transported in poor conditions and tortured repeatedly. But finally, it seems Dhaka is ready to address the elephant in the room. It plans to solve the problem. The High Court has issued an order. It has suspended all logging licenses of Asian elephants. The order bans their adoption and protects them from exploitation. So the elephants can no longer be captured and taken into captivity. Animal activists are calling the order a landmark ruling. Only time will tell if the order actually helps boost the elephant population in the country. But experts say that this is a crucial first step.